Hello, we're going to demonstrate the double fisherman's knot. This is an excellent knot for joining two uh, ends of ropes together. Um, so let's, let's demonstrate that. Here I have one end of my rope and so I lay the opposing end across the rope and I make a loop around the rope, go around the rope again, and then tuck it under. It's just like making a double overhand knot, but we're going around the rope. And you should have that nice cross effect, just like you do in a double overhand knot. And then I like to turn everything around and then we're basically gonna do that one more time. We're gonna go around the rope, around the rope again, and then down through the center. And pull that, and I have another double overhand knot around the rope, and then I just pull them together to lock it in place. And that's a double overhand knot. It's an excellent knot for joining two ropes together. The only drawback to this knot is it's very hard to untie, okay? Once it's been uh, loaded, it is a hard knot to untie. So let's go through this one more time. got it untied. We've got our two ends of the rope, two ends of the rope that we want to join together. I kind of lay them beside each other like that and then wrap over the rope, over the rope again, and down through the center. And this is the important part is getting it down to look just like that before you pull it tight. Okay, so there's one side of it. Then we're going to turn it around and repeat that process again. We're going to go around the rope, around the rope, and down through the center loop there. Pull it tight, okay, and then draw these two knots up. To the end like that. And that is our double fisherman's knot. Excellent recommended way to join two ropes together. Thank you.